Hey guys and welcome back here to Born Beautiful. I am so excited to be here with you guys for another amazing video. I have a long video today so grab a snack and come right back. <laughs> it is going to be about 15-20 minutes only because I want to explain every color for you with live swatches. So I just want to make this video as concise as possible. Just get to what I want to say and that is why we're here. So without further ado, as you can see by my background right here, today I am going to be showing you the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This here is the packaging for it. As you can see, it's just a beautiful kind of like big box. They always do their box sizes like three times the width of the actual palette. But yeah, I feel like it's more protected that way since there is protection in the inside. And as you can see, it kind of has the colors and then it says Mega Pro Palette 3 Shimmer and Matte Shadow Eye Palette. It is $59 and it is extremely important to point out that it is limited edition. I was able to get it about a week ago because Platinum members at Ulta were able to get early access. It is exclusive to Ulta and Kohl's. That's where it's going to be October 2nd. So mark that down on your calendars. It's only like two days away, which is why I wanted to make this video, edit it, upload it, bam. So you guys have all the juicy details. And yeah, the design is pretty cute. It's like a graphic design. I really do love it. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Let's get into what you really want to see, which is this baby right here. <laughs> So this is how the palette looks. It's amazingly beautiful. It's gorgeous. It screams sophistication in my eyes. Like you can see it says Lorac Mega Pro 3. Um, and I love that it says Los Angeles here. It's just like a cute touch. And what can I say? This palette I have tried so hard to keep it nice looking. Looking fresh. Looking like dope or whatever you want to call it like it is so hard not to get this palette dirty if we look on the back side I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but it, I do have like a finger mark here I have some pink here like I've only had it three days and it's a little bit dirty already so yeah it's a white and rose gold I love the rose gold lettering I love gold I love rosy pinks it's just beautiful I love it I, I just I don't care even if I get it dirty I still love it so without further ado, let's get right into opening this palette. If you do want to get it, make sure you're on online or in store, I guess, on October 2nd because these are going to sell like hot bread, like fresh hot bread, guys, right out the oven. It, they're going to be gone. So when we open the palette, this is how it looks. It has a beautifully sized mirror. I hope I'm not blinding you guys. Really nice and beautiful. It looks like it's some sturdy glass here. It says Lorac on top. And then we can fold it back. And it is about the size of two of the Pro palettes. Here you go. It's just a little bit taller. So before we get into the swatches, I did want to mention I am wearing this palette on my eyes. Let me see. I have a little bit of pink cream on the lid, just as an all over the lid color. Then I did go in with Dusty Mauve, which is like a very beautiful rosy mauve color. I did use that as a transition shade. Then I went in with Eggplant Beautiful Shade, and I put that on the outside and inner corners of my eyelid. And then to finish it off, I did use some pomegranate in the center of the lid. That is what gives it this pop of color that's really, really beautiful. It's an intense look. It's not for everyone, I'm going to say, because of the a very light pink eyeliner but if you were to switch that up with a black one it would be like a perfect fall look also do have kava which is a beautiful champagne kind of color on the inner corners of the eyes and that is it for this look i am going to put a clip of my look that i did yesterday i was wearing this palette yesterday and as you can see it is a beautiful beautiful color i love the way it came out definitely very different for this look i had rose quartz on the center of the lid i had a little bit of dark navy and eggplant and yeah i had uh snow on the inner corners Okay guys, so this is the close-up here of all the colors just so that you guys can get a feel for them and see what the palette is about. There's a lot of dusty mauves, there's like, there's some burgundy shades, there's some, a little bit of pinky, dusty pinkies. Then you have your dark shades, you have your neutral shades. It's a little bit of everything inside this palette, so I really do love that for what it is. So without further ado, I'm going to start the live swatches. I'm going to go from the left to the right. From the top row to the bottom row. So what I'm going to be doing is just talking about the colors. And then I will be putting the live swatches right here for you guys. Very helpful. I hope at least. So let's just get started with this video. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so we're just going to start off the swatches. We're going to start it off with Pink Cream, which as I just mentioned is a beautiful creamy shade that is beautiful just for all over the lid. Then we have Tan, another beautiful color. This is more like a transition shade. This is one of the easier to do kind of colors in this palette. Then we have Pecan. It's a beautiful pecan shade. What else is there to say? It's a really, really beautiful pecan -y shade. <laughs> Then we have Walnut. Walnut is a little bit on the darker tone compared to Pecan. I do feel like it has kind of like a orangey undertone to it. Then we have Dusty Mauve. Dusty Mauve is a beautiful, beautiful color. It has to be one of my favorites in this palette. It's like a dusty rose color. Very mauve -y, very beautiful. It's like cool toned. I love it. I love it. Then we have this warmer tone called Violet Gray, which is a very unique shade, I do have to say. It's like a violet, but you really don't see the violet too much because of how much gray you has that you have as an undertone it's just a beautiful shade it's like a tone darker than dusty mauve then we have eggplant eggplant is a beautiful shade as you can see i have it on my lid on the outer and inner corners and it looks amazing it's a very very dark violet just the color of an eggplant it's so beautiful i love it then we have Dark Navy. This is the last one in the first row. It's a beautiful Dark Navy color. It stands out a lot. It, you need barely any, any um, powder in your brush. And you're going to have like a full-on, full-on opaque Dark Navy color. Love this shade. Now starting off with the second row, we started off with Crepe or Crepe. However you want to pronounce it. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Just like the name, it is the color of a crepe, like flour, like the, the dough that you make for the crepes. It's like a French pancake if you didn't know. Really beautiful all over the lid shade. Then we have Toffee. Toffee has a little bit of a yellowy undertone to it. Very beautiful color. It kind of reminds me of a kind of like caramel latte. Like when it's actually like iced or something. You know, that kind of color. Then we have Mist. Mist is a beautiful shade, guys. It has... It reminds me of when you go outside and you see all the misty, foggy, like in November, early mornings. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. It is so pigmented. Look at that. I also do want to show you eggplant from the previous row and dark navy. They're just beautiful shades, guys. Oh, my God. I'm already getting the palette dirty right there. So, mist definitely is a very beautiful, beautiful shade. Look at mist right there. It's amazing how much pigment is in those very light swatches. The next one we have here is vintage. Vintage is kind of like a brown with a, again a little bit of a gray undertone to it but it's a very slight the gray in it it's more brown than anything else then we have hickory which is a very smoky kind of brown color very rich it's like a it's like a almost dark chocolate almost i want to say then we have maple which kind of reminds me of like honey maple from uh, canada really popular over there do love this one it's a very mapley color it has some beautiful orange undertones to it then we have bark which is that true true dark chocolate brown it's so beautiful so amazing perfect for all those smoky looks you want to do then we have jet black jet black i'm gonna have to say is not all that black on the finger swatch but when you actually work it into the eyes it's beautiful there is no chalkiness no patchiness when you swatch it like i am right now it's a little bit patchy but on the eye it's definitely not the, i'm gonna swatch also vintage and crepe i guess so let's just put them right here look at those colors really really beautiful going on to the third row now we the first shade we have here is snow it's a very beautiful white color that has that shimmer these bottom two rows are shimmers the top two were matte now we're into the shimmer so snow is a beautiful white with shimmer it's going to be beautiful to highlight that brow bone give you that glow and then we have kava which is the one i have in my inner corners right now it's like a beautiful champagne color then we have cider it is a cidery color it's kind of it's kind of like a little bit bronzy it got some like gold reflexes in there truly beautiful color and then we have uh, Bellini, which is like a peachy undertone, champagne-y kind of shade. Really beautiful once again. Then we have brown sugar, which is true to a brown sugar, but you add a little bit more brown to it. It's really, really beautiful. It has those beautiful, it's so creamy. Like when I swatched this earlier, like you can see your thumb in there, but it's so creamy. Like you won't go, you won't get any kick out of it. It's just like creamy powdery, powderiness. Beautiful, delicious. 
Oh, my breath is getting out of there. Then we have Sequoia. Sequoia, I love the name of that shadow. It's so beautiful. It's a rich brown, a little bit more warm toned than brown sugar. Really beautiful. It kind of has those um, maroon kind of undertones to it, like a burgundy kind of, kind of, sort of, not really. And then we have Glacier. Glacier, guys, just took me by surprise. It's so beautifully pigmented. It has that glacier kind of effect that you see in the pictures where the light hits it and the, this big reflex, kind of silvery. That's the kind of shade that this one is right here. So let me swatch those. Look at that color. Look at that color right there. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Can't wait to use it. Then we have Deep Fog. That's the last one from the third row. It's a very, very kind of dark, smoky color. Definitely does remind you of those November days with the fog, but a lot more darker, deeper, richer, and it's shimmery. So it's, again, a beautiful shade. Let's, oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation right there. Look at that pigmentation. It talks for itself. Finally, guys, we are on to the fourth and last row. The first shade that we have here is called Tool. This it's like a tool color, you know, with you, you, your tutu. It's kind of like a pinky, pinky uh, highlight. It's a really beautiful color. Again, really beautiful to highlight that brow bone. Then we have pink bronze. Pink bronze is another beautiful color. It kind of has some pink in it, but the bronze overtakes that pink a, a lot. Um, then we have rust. It's a beautiful rusty color. It has those orange undertones. It reminds me of fall and the leaves and, you know, the Photoshop leaves, how they look so beautiful and orangey and kind of glistening. That is the shade right here. Then we have Rose Quartz. Oh my god, I love this one. I feel like that's the one I'm going to hit pan on first. It's the one I used yesterday on the center of the lid. I love it. It's beautiful. It's, it's just, it's what it is. It's a Rose Quartz color. I'm going to swatch Rust as well, the one that I just went over. And then we have olive. Olive is a, like it reminds me of olive toponym. I don't like olives to be honest. But yeah, um, it's a really beautiful olive shade. It's a one tone darker than olives are. So let me just swatch those right here. Look at that pigmentation. Look at rose quartz. Do you understand why I am in love with this shade right here? It's beautiful. Rust again is very beautiful. I can only imagine what all of these shades are gonna look like with um, Max Fix Plus or like. Um, the NYX glitter glue that I always like to use. Um, yeah, it's just so beautiful. Then we have, after olive, we have dark roast. Dark roast is a very kind of roasty color, smoky color. The kind of a color you're going to get on top of your barbecue ribs when you're they're like so nicely roasted or on that carne asada. Is that tone but shimmery. <laughs> so it's a very beautiful shade. Especially for the fall time. I feel like dark roast and olive and rose quartz together would make an amazing color. Or even with rust. It's kind of like those essential fall colors you see all the time during fall. Then we have pomegranate. It has to be my number one shade. It is my favorite shade. It's amazing. It's unique. I have yet to find another color like this. It's so beautiful. It's not cranberry. It's not pink. It's like in between. It is the color that I have on my lid right now. It pops out a lot. It is like a pomegranate color. It kind of to me reminds me like the middle of a cranberry and a dark pink um eyeshadow but with shimmer really beautiful the shimmers here are really finely milled so beautiful they feel so soft and then finally we have licorice licorice is like a kind of black but with like purple um glitter to it that's how i feel it is when you swatch it you do see that glitter. Hopefully it goes on like that on the eyes. This reminds me of one in the Too Faced palette. I don't remember quite which one. I think it was the chocolate bonbons. But it didn't. That one doesn't really pick up really dark rich pigment the way this one does right here. So this one definitely is going to be very interesting to try. I did get that one really dirty right now. So like I'm saying this palette is going to get very messy in the future. Definitely highly recommended. Get your hands on it as soon as it comes out because otherwise you're going to be regretting it. I swear this palette is amazing. I so yeah guys, that is it for this uh, live swatches, for this review. I hope that you did love it. I am so happy that I got my hands on this palette. I was really debating whether to or not, but I feel like this was a great investment into my collection. And even if you don't collect makeup, this is essential if you love to have like your neutral shades, but also colors that you can wear to, to like a party or whatever. But it doesn't have like those crazy colors that you might never wear. Like all, even though 
look craziest colors like pomegranate and that's really wearable as well for like a party look but yeah this is a beautiful palette it's essential to me I am so happy I got it I'm so in love with it let me know what you guys think are you gonna get it thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up let me know any suggestions that I might need for my video so I can make you guys happier and without further ado that is it for this video if you're not already make sure to click the subscribe button and if you are thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I can't wait <laughs> and I can't wait to see you in my next video guys so thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day remember you're damn hella gorgeous and bye guys <laughs>